time to take your seat. Great ball, great ball! Oh, oh I like it lads, more people like it! Them poor feckers here don't want to be in. How about battering them and then kind of having... Mick, Mick! Better loss and then loss again. Every time. Who's there? Time A, time A. Good choice, Dean. Good choice, Dean. Yes, Rob. Yes. What a save! Who had the shot? And he's seen that late as well. Up again, Mick! Now here with Longford Town striker Rob Manley after a 1-1 draw at the Brandywell against Derry City. Rob, does it feel like a defeat conceding so, so late in the game? Yeah, it's heartbreaking. Um, can't fault the lads. We've, we've worked our socks off. We've defended really, really well throughout the whole game. 
and there we just get that bit of luck you could say at the end it's just a, I, I'm not have to watch it back but it just seems to be a loose ball in the box unfortunately and I think your man shinned it into the ground and, and yeah, scored he's got a little nick on the way through or yeah. maybe shinned it into the ground it's a bit like the goal in Tala isn't yeah. it it's just as you said it's probably one of these things you can't overanalyze it's just long for not getting the rub with the green a little bit yeah um, thought, oh yeah just we worked so hard uh, it's just, it's just not going our way sometimes and hopefully our luck will turn yeah look the positives uh, you scored a fantastic goal uh, it looked like a lost cause that ball you were chasing down but that's what you're all about you never give up you have to hold off the defender I'm not sure who it was you were actually holding off at the time but you out muscle him and there's not a lot of goal to shoot into but somehow you squeeze it past Nathan Gart's side a phenomenal goal yeah it was a, t- a tough game I think we were sitting back and it was a it was a good ball in from Dean Dean, uh, Dean Zambra yeah. and um Lucky the keeper kind of took a side step and I just had the whole goal nearly to open, open into. Mm. It wasn't the most, uh, I suppose, uh, sophisticated ball from Dean Zambra. He just saw you in a good position in the penalty area. He gets it in as quickly as he can. Um, maybe is that something Lanford need to look to do a little bit more, get the ball into the area a little bit quicker? Uh, look, it's, uh, we came up here with our tactics to, yeah. to, 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 to see how Derry play. And uh, when we got our chances, uh, luckily I was able to take mine. And... and uh, it was just, it was just a, good, it was a good ball in. I thought yeah. it wasn't it was just over at all centre half, and we were able to capitalise on the keeper kind of moving out of the way. Yeah, look, I can sense the disappointment yeah. in your voice, but <laughs> again, stick, sticking with the positives. Uh, you mentioned it there, the organisation of the team, so well set up. Yeah, that's what we have to, uh, we have to build on. You now, uh, we can't, uh, we can't keep our heads, heads held uh, too low. Uh, we have to push on now and it's bows and hopefully just our luck will change. Mm, look, every game in this league is tough, but bows at the moment are struggling. Um, you got a draw in Dillingham Park as well after being 2 0 down. It's at home next Saturday against bows So you can go in with confidence despite the fact that you're very disappointed speaking to me here at the moment. Yeah, definitely. Um, after playing obviously the first round of games, we know we have nothing to fear in this league. We, we've, we've outworked most teams and again, it's just sometimes the luck just haven't gone our way. And, yeah. We're hope, hopeful that will change. And two goals in two games for yourself. Um, I think, as I was saying last week, um, a lot of people, I suppose, that aren't following along for week on week, they're looking at Rob Manley, a top scorer last year, and they're saying, why, why is he not scoring so many goals? But people that are watching your game every week can see you're doing everything right off the ball, and, and now you're finally getting the rewards. Yeah, obviously, as a striker, uh, goals, it ebbs and flows. Sometimes they, they come and go, but usually when you get one, a few come, and, and hopefully I can keep that... Uh, keep the numbers coming brilliant stuff Rob very unlucky today but a great performance now I'm here with Lanford Town manager Dara Doyle after a 1-1 draw against Derry City at the Brandywell Dara it's a late goal your team have conceded they've played so well so organised brilliant goal from Rob Manley what's the immediate emotions after that game yeah it's 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 really tough to take it's it's a late late goal and probably you know we defended so well we were so well organised we worked very hard for each other we probably limited a Derry side who I felt played a lot of nice football but didn't create much. They had two chances from distance, which Mick saved well. Mm. And uh, I mean, we defended really well. Our shape was good, our midfield players. We, we can't ask for more from them. It's probably one that breaks in the box. And I think Shane and Aaron have a bit of a coming together and the, the ball probably lands in the one place you don't want it to attack in Tunde. He's free in the box, but even in saying that, he sort of scuffs it yeah. and just hits it into the ground. And with that, he sort of sends Mick a little bit the wrong way and, and, and the ball sort of makes its way in maybe on, we maybe on a different there. pitch as well he doesn't get that bit of luck it's no maybe not maybe not and it's one of those I felt you know we were really good Mick McDonald and Aaron O'Driscoll were they were solid back there mm-hmm. today I mean in, in Shane Elworthy and um, Carl Chambers we were defending really well we limited them like I said to very very few chances great to see Rob put the goal away the way he did um, playing off the shoulder lovely ball around the bend from um, Dean Zambra and he takes it very well and delighted for him to get in with a second goal now in two games and um, I felt at that stage actually with Aaron Bulger having come on he started to dictate play a little in the mm. middle of the park and he was getting us playing them simple passes that, that kept us moving the work was there and, and I felt we were going to deal with it and unfortunately and it's not from probably a mistake around it's just one of those things that sometimes the ball just lands in a place we don't want and, and they manage to finish so I said it to Rob after the game it's probably one of them things you can't over analyse it's just as simple as Longford not getting the rub of the green this evening and on a couple of occasions this year you haven't got the rub of the green yeah no listen that's it we've, we've put in a really strong organised disciplined performance there today I felt Derry um played some good stuff at times you know they had a lot of different patterns than they've had in re- previous weeks so a can, lot of it was in front of you though wasn't a it? lot of it was in front of it, it was a case and, and probably what we wanted patching going into wider deeper positions I think the three forwards stayed quite 
high for them, which which made our fullbacks have to stay. Their fullbacks stayed high, and they tried to suck a midfield player out of it to then play around you and have more players in the middle. And it took a bit of getting. We had to have a little talk about it at half time and to how we have to restrict that and stop it happening and make sure we can control that and not put ourselves in positions where we don't want to be on the pitch. And I thought we did that really well. And mm. you know, we, we've probably got to give Derry credit. They, they probably deserved the point. Had we, if we come in here with three points, we take it all day long, and we'd be delighted. And it's disappointing in the late, late nature of it but um, it is it's another point on the board for us and you know we, we've got to just keep building and keep building and be competitive every game and should we continue to do that we, we'll pick up points because I think we've pro- proven we can be competitive every single week and, and we've got a great bunch of lads in there who give everything they have every single week for us It probably says a lot about um, how far along for have come under yourself that we're talking about dropping points against Dundalk and Derry has been disappointing yeah, no, it is, and, and that's full credit to the lads and, and the work, like, I mean, the amount of work that, that them lads put in, it's it's just enormous, and I can't ask for more from them. Um, like you say, we're, we're disappointed with, like you say, we're talking about Shamrock Rovers, we're talking about Dundalk, we're talking about Derry, we're, we're disappointed, yeah. and, um, and another time we could be here with a lot more points, we don't, we have seven. But we have a strong belief in this group that, that we can do good things this year and we believe that we will do that. Yeah, that belief in the team is, is very evident. I mean, to come away from the game against mm. Dundalk on Monday, slightly disappointed to come yeah. up to the Brandywell mm. a couple of days later, put in a shift like that. Yeah. Uh, you've mentioned other good performances against the likes of Rovers as well. You have to go again now. Bohemians coming down to Bishopsgate on um, Saturday. Yeah. And Bo's probably out of form themselves. So it's a big, big game for them. Yeah, and you'll, you'll go into it with plenty of confidence. And as we said, the same belief you always do. Yeah, no, that's something we, we definitely will will do um, you mentioned that they're down and around us at the moment and mm. it's important when we play teams around us that we try and win a game if we can win a game like today had we won the game we go ahead of Derry mm. um, and, and that's what we have to look at every week but there's a strong belief there that we can pick up results every single week and listen it's a big game against a really good Bowes team but we'll be ready for them mm. Is there anything you can do to try and stem the, the late goals as, again as we said is it just one of them things it's, at the moment there's not no, a lot it, you can it, do about it, it It really was yeah. I mean you look how well they defended our, our lads there today I mean I thought Aaron O'Driscoll was excellent again I thought Mick McDonald was very very good coming in for the second game so you know it's, it's, it's hard to nitpick and all we would be is be nitpicking because there wasn't a great deal we could have done more the ball drops as nice as it could do for them and and, it, and it's finished with what 60 50 60 seconds to go maybe and listen we here we have a point mm. and, and we move on to the next game Aaron O'Driscoll has been absolutely phenomenal since he came into the team are you hopeful of having him for the year yeah listen we're hopeful we'll be able to do that so it's something that we'll, we'll try and get get sorted very soon brilliant stuff Dara thanks very much oh, Gary Riley joins me on the LCFC Sunday show to reflect on a 1-1 draw against Derry City here at the Brandywell Longford took the lead with about 15 minutes remaining and a brilliant goal from Rob Manley but Akintunde he broke Longford Hearts in injury time more late point slip this uh, season Gary yeah that's four in a week isn't it mm. four in a month between a Monday and a Friday tough going really is um I thought Rob was brilliant for the goal. Nice little chip in by uh, Dean Zambra. And kind he had of no right to win that ball. No, he didn't. But you know, I, I don't know who, what defender was it, was McJanet mm. or the other fella. Um, just pushed him off. Just pushed him off, but he was stronger. And he mm. wanted it more. And Gar said, uh, he was waving at his position and was poor, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, poor. He, he, he oh, he's not he's not having a great time. I don't know how good or bad he is. I don't care. But I think. He, did, he didn't help the situation no. and I thought he was loose enough for the whole game Kicking was very poor Kicking was poor You had a chance in the first half from him um, but I thought Rob did very well for the goal really held on to it and, and drove it home um, but look such a, such a disappointment you know he, he, heading down the road now and we're looking at another point which is great but it really should have been three um, there he played alright but they didn't do enough to get to get, to get a point as out I, the game. As I just said to Dara, I suppose um, we'll try and keep this as positive as we can. But um, it, it's Longford have come a long way from being in the first division last year yeah. to, to to the fact we feel disappointed with draws against Dundalk and away in the Brandywell against Derry. We feel disappointed. That says yeah. an awful lot about how far this team has come. Yeah, well, a few people were saying that we haven't won here since 03 or something yeah. like that. You know, like so, it's tough to see that. You know, we're. we're not in the position that we want to be on the table and then come here and get a you know disappointed with two points dropped on Monday uh, and then disappointed again with another two dropped um, particularly in the last you know last minute of injury time kind of look back and like games you know it was particularly Shamrock Rovers and stuff like that and you kind of 
Jeez, this is the right thickener. Um, but look, that's going to happen. Uh, you just have to pick yourself up. You know, I thought we, we really did well uh, on Monday and then took a lot of that because there was a lot of tired bodies. Yeah. Really worked hard on Monday, but they take the intensity that we brought in today. I thought Aid Irvin, he probably went 20 miles today. <laughs> and. And the fact Longford are down bodies at the moment as well. Dobbs, Warfield, McNally, just to name a few. So yeah. for those same players from Monday to put in a shift like they did tonight, absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, no, it was. It was really encouraging just to see how well, how well they did. And you know, in the quick turnaround, there was probably a rest day maybe on Tuesday, and then another squeeze in the training session at some point during the week. So and then they make the journey up here as well. You know, it's a long old road. So look, it's tough to to just look at it now and go two points dropped again and and it wasn't even a fantastic goal it was lumped in last minute job and scuffed into the scuffed net scuffed in I think if he doesn't scuff it it probably doesn't go in it's, it's deceived Mick Kelly and the defenders a little bit the yeah, way yeah I think there were, uh, it's hard to see even by the replay but it's like kicked into the ground uh, and then of course I guess the extra little bit of ping here when it hits the ground as well yeah, off the exactly. Astro you know and um, that kind of put us on the back or put Mick on the back foot and look there was nothing he could do about it really and truly um, I think just the way he, his weight was gone one way and then with the ball going just not not a chance yeah. so look it's it's tough for the lads but I hope they can you know pick themselves oh, up oh they and, will they will well, I mean, they've, they've, they've proven, proven that it. Yeah. they really have actually so like we can actually look forward to the Bulls game uh, next Saturday uh, tomorrow week and be lo- looking at it with a good bit of positivity they aren't running well we can get at them run at them it's hot in the game particularly in Daily Mount if you they they couldn't stand being ran at. Mm. Do you know what I mean? There were absolute statues, a lot of them. Um, and while the yes, they were two 0 up, when we went at playing our own game in the second half, we saw what can happen. So if we start off well, be more compact and defensive, and kind of negate what they're trying to do. Mm. Um, I think we can get the three points. I probably feel very similar to this game against Bowes coming up um, as I did going into the game against Dundalk. I looked at that Dundalk, Dundalk back four. They're giving up a lot of chances this year. Yeah, you know, you know they're going to give you a chance somewhere yeah. along uh, along the way. If you look at Bowes so far this season, they are exactly the same. They're giving up chances. They're giving up opportunities. We've seen that in the game recently against Derry at, the, um, at, at Daily Mount Park, where Derry got the late goal from McJanet. I mean, he was in an ocean of space from a set oh, piece yeah. just to tap in for the winner. Yeah. So Longford have to go and try and exploit that now next Saturday. Yeah, no, they do, and I, I think they will be well able to do it. I, I know there's a lot of disappointment in you know from everyone at the minute, but. As I, as I said, we've proven that we can pick ourselves up and put it up to teams further up the table. Um, we've proven that we've played everyone now, and we haven't been outclassed really by anybody. So look, I think we can look at Bowes. They're still not running well. They were, mm. It was a uh, the second game of the season that we played them up. And the really difference well. on Saturday probably will be as well. Bowes are going into that game with a mountain of pressure on them because yeah. they're expected to be up the top. Longford are where people expected them to be. Now, as we said, performances have been fantastic and we probably should be higher up the table. But if you spoke to the pundits and everyone before a ball was kicked this season, Longford Town were going to be cut adrift. They weren't going to be competitive. That's what the pundits said. The players, I think, have used that as fuel a little bit. They're proving everyone wrong, wrong at the moment. But going into the game Saturday, it's definitely Bowes that will go into that game with the pressure on their shoulders. Oh, no, no doubt about it like we talked before about Keith Long and, and Trevor Crowley having a big job to do and they didn't really seem to do it like like we talked about how uh, after the game in Daily Mount that he didn't really pay attention to what Longford were doing mm. to Derry and how Derry weren't, aren't, weren't great at the time probably still not great but we ran them into the ground even into the into the into the 90 plus minutes mm. and we did that in Daily Mount I don't think Keith Long will make that same mistake. I hope he does, <laughs> because there's enough of stuff to worry about, and they are under a lot of pressure. So I think we can look forward to that game. We we can take the positive performance that we had there tonight. You know, it's a new a new manager in Derry there, mm. with a new philosophy and a new way of playing. Um, so like even uh, uh, some of the players are playing in different positions and they're doing different things that they weren't doing in the first game. So. Look, with all that in mind, it was good to see um, the performance that was thrown, was put in tonight and we can look forward to Saturday now um, against Bulls. Well, I have to say, you've made me feel a lot better. I was in tatters in the stand when that yeah. goal went, let, went in. I was very disappointed, <laughs> but I'm already looking forward to the game on Saturday uh, at Bishopsgate. Of course, we'll have a, a pre-match show, uh, as usual, on our Facebook page, so make sure you check that out before kick-off on Saturday and the game will be live on Watch LOI. But for this week on the LTFC Sunday show, it's Kieran and Gary. Thanks very much for watching. Good night.
time to take your seat. The pride of the Premier League.